you know, the sun was shining. Um, opened the laptop a couple of times, but managed to get my head out of it. And it's, it's, it's important for, for coaches to, to have time out the the game as well, to reflect and, um, you know, work out what's going well, what can go better. Um, you know, we get we get tired as well, but actually coming back in, having a week, uh, re-energised, uh, ready to go and, and ready to, to finish off the season really well. I, mean, I think we had a, a really testing block where the, the guys put a huge amount of effort in. So to have a, a bit of a reset, um, refocus of the minds, get head out of rugby a little bit um, and come back in. The guys were in, in last week. Um, we've got a few players back from the, the national team for this week as well. So there's a, there's a good buzz. Guys are happy to see each other again. I think we could have come out with a, a couple more wins. Um, but I also, it was a it was a challenging period, and in challenging periods, you learn a lot about um, you learn a lot about people, you learn a lot about yourself, uh, you learn a lot about um, the the guys around you, and I believe it's a period that we'll get a huge amount of of growth from. We had, um, you know, some good performances in that. We had some really good wins in it as well, and we had some some performances where we just dropped off. But we, we I don't think we had poor performances um, but there are definitely a couple of bits and balls we need to tidy up with our game they're representing our club um, our, our people and I think the performance that they've put they've put in has been been exceptional um, I believe that they're going back there and they're they're leading the team really well and um, and really showing Edinburgh rugby in a, in a good light I think uh, I think the game there against Wales was was excellent he, he found some some open space he was able to um, open up. I was calling him a gazelle on, on, on messages. He's getting the high knees going, so it's great, great to see him, him doing that. Obviously, he came on the pitch very early. Sometimes it's easier when that happens, when you don't have that big build-up to, to start a game, and then suddenly you click your fingers and you're on the pitch and you, you need to get into things, and, and I thought he did that exceptionally well. Yeah, and, and we, we've been being big on, on talking about opportunity. Um, it, it comes around in different ways. It might be through injury, selection, um, you know, rotation, whatever you want to call it, but we've we've um, we've embraced this um, this time when we don't have players available, and, and I believe the individuals have as well. This is their opportunity to step up, to do well, and uh, and to make the the selection uh, decisions even harder once national players get back. Well, Scarlets are on the up, aren't they? They've um, I don't think they've lost a game in in 2023 yet. Um, They've got momentum on the back of the the Challenge Cup, uh, winning, winning games during that, and uh, they've they've got a really talented squad. They don't miss many players during the during the Six Nations period, um, and there's a there's a confidence about them at the moment. So, with our with our group, we need to find our our connections, our cohesion really quickly through what we're doing in training, um, and then the the physical battle is always going to be the thing that that win, wins and loses games.